Hey everyone, and welcome to my 2020 bullet journal supplies video. And we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in. So our first object I have is my Archer and Olive notebook. I use this for my daily bullet journaling. Um, I do, obviously this is my bullet journal channel. Um, and I actually really like this book. I've started doing more watercolors and the pages are really withholding or like holding all that. Um, they're thick. I like how they're bright white. Um, so yeah, I this is the Slither. The snake on the top is the Slither one. Um, it's in black and yeah, so it's my 2020 right here. I do love this book, it's really good and I'm glad that I picked it for my journal this year. Uh, my next item that I have coming up is my Happy Planner. This is the Stargazers one. And this book is a little bit different than what I'd use my bullet journal for. It has a lot of... It has a lot of different uh, uses on it. It's not like a regular journal. So you have all the weeks put on there, the days. It has the important dates. Um, birthdays and then it has like a power word of the month a little quote on that page and then you have your your monthly calendar there and it has intentions uh, check off um, and it has like a habit tracker on the side and then everything else is just a daily list for the month just just a list of things you want to do in the day and that's it for every single month so it's a really good book, different than my regular bullet journal, and that's a good one. My next book I have is my Strathmore sketchbook. This is the mixed media paper. I haven't used it yet. I actually just recently bought this, and I'll use it to sketch drawings and things like that. I really want to get into that. So yeah, I got it from Michaels, but um, you can get it here on Amazon as well, and I have a link down below. Next, we have our um, Canson mixed media paper. This one is what I use to draw my um, opening pages for my bullet journal, and then I can scan them in my computer. Um, really good, I love it. So yeah, I recommend that if you try that. This next one is my Happy Planner Productivity Sticker Set. I got this before I decided to make my own stickers for the month. Um, but yeah, it has a lot of different uses and I'll probably end up using it anyways, just for little extra added things. Um, and so it has a lot of pages and it has these glossy, glossy stickers in here as well. Um, so yeah, I really like this one. And moving on, um, our next one is one of many different types that I have. And this is my craft paper, um, craft smart paper pad. And this is, oh wait, I gotta undo these little pieces that are on here. Um, let's pull this off. So I do have a bunch of different types, different themed ones. Um, I didn't get specific color block papers, but um, I will end up cutting bits out and um, it has a different, a whole bunch of different types. These have like words on it and constellations and things like that. So I'll definitely find myself using it in my either my bullet journal or my happy planner or something like that i'll find a use for it this next one is my happy planner square puncher and i got this because i wanted to add pages to my current happy planner it's kind of thin um, but if there's any additional things that i want to use i can take it and use that so that's that and the next one that i have is my happy planner square puncher 
And this is used to um, cut squares, papers that actually fit perfectly in the um, vertical layouts. And as you can see, I cut this little one right here, for example, but yeah, so I'll end up using that block paper to cut out squares. This is my We Are Memory Keepers corner paper puncher or corner puncher. Let me grab a um, little sticky note so that you can kind of see what exactly it's doing, what it does. So I put it in here and I cut it and you see it, it rounds the edges. This one is a bigger edge right here and Let's see if we can get this side on here. It's the sticky side. I don't think it's going to cut it properly. Um, what the, nope. <laughs> nope. That's not cutting properly. Let's try again. And uh, no, it's not working. It's too sticky. Oh, well, but you can kind of see that's what it does. It cuts the paper, um, rounds up the corners, and it's good if I want to use it on a sticker sheet. This next one is um, a... I, you use it to make like a habit tracker. So the little part circles and you can use it in your bullet journal to make a habit tracker. I haven't used it yet, I just got it and I'm excited to try it out. So this one is my stencils. I have a bunch of stencils. Um, I got them off Amazon and I use them to make squares, circles, triangles, things like that, real simple. This next one is my Westcott drafting kit. I call it a drafting kit because I used to take drafting um, classes and, but it's kind of like a math kit is what they call it, I guess. To, so it's got, um, you know, uh, triangles and it has um, a, something made, if my circles aren't, I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> my circles aren't, you can't, my, Oh gosh, words. If I need to make large circles, I use that. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and put all this back. <laughs> words today aren't working. The next item that I have is going to be um, just the clear Westcott ruler. Um, I use this. I use this big one just in case I need to make a um, a line that's longer than the small ruler that you saw in my little drafting set, that pretty much. This is my Black & Decker laser level, and I use this for, um, if, well, I just got it to use for whenever I'm wanting to write a straight line on a piece of paper, I can just, you know, set this up right here. Let me turn it on. Um, you can kind of see it. It makes a line so that I can have a straight line and write. Um, it'll be really good for that. Uh, this next item I have is my paint gear double-sided tape. I use double-sided tape now to tape things into my bullet journal if I want to tape my pages together because I used a um, one of those little sticky roll papers and by the end of the year last year, all my things were coming off the paper. So I just use double-sided tape now. This is my, oops, kneaded eraser. This I use for obviously erasing. I recommend using this instead of a regular eraser because it doesn't leave the shavings and it's a lot less harsh on your paper. And I sometimes I'll roll it up and put it, like just roll it on my paper to kind of lift up the graphite. Um, and it's really good. I recommend you using it. Um, next, I have my three different types of washi tapes and this one um, is a moon set and it's like gray, browns, and blacks. That is just a multicolored and then a thin washi tape. It, this set was supposed to be gold foiled, but it wasn't, it didn't come gold foiled and oh well. <laughs> um, this, I have my drawing pencils. This actually came in a set with that kneaded eraser that I have. Um, and I, I'll use this to draw in my sketchbook. Um, and practice and it comes with graphite um, as well um, so yeah that's what that is I use this you'll see this in my bullet journal videos it's my zebra mechanical pencil in 0.5 
Um, I use this to sketch my work before I draw. This is my pilot pen. I love this pen. It's really smooth, really easy, and not much really to be said about it. I recently bit the bullet and bought these Paper Mate Ink Joys in point seven. I love them. I used them. I was at a restaurant and the waitress gave it to me and then I just, I had to have them. And so I bought them. I use this pen to write in my bullet journal as well as um, sketch my bullet journal. It's the Scura Pigma Micron pens. I had them in a bunch of different sizes. This one's 03. Um, and I mean, most bullet journalists use this. This is another staple for bullet journalers. It's a Tambo Fudenosuke or Fudenosuke pen. And I use it to do my brush lettering. Um, got the little brush tip, and that was a hard tip one. This is a Recollections pen or a marker, really. Um, and I use it to help fill in some gold things before I put gold paint on it. So, yep, really simple. This is my Crayola Super Tip markers. I have a 50 pack and a 100 pack. I recommend using this if you just start doing um, brush lettering. Try it out. It'll help you um, learn how to do it for really cheap and you don't waste your pens. My next one is the Zebra Midliner brush pen. This is the one in green. I bought the whole set. I think there's 15 of all these. Um, as you can see, it's a brush pen on this side. And if you flip it over, it is a fine point pen. Um, I have yet to use the five fine point. I mostly just use the brush pen. And this one is my Zebra Midliner. Now this is the chisel point. It's a highlighter um, and I use it as well. And it has a fine point or a fine pen on the other side. This is my go-to white. It's a Uniball Signal Broad, and I have it in gold and silver as well. And this is also the Jelly Roll in white. I like the Uniball much better. Um, it's smoother for me, but I have the Jelly Roll as well. So those are the two white pens I have. Uh, these are my Tombow dual brush pens. I have um, almost the whole set, not all of them, but yeah, it's a brush pen on one side and a fine point on the other. So that is that. And I use it for watercoloring. And now recently I've just tried to do that in my bullet journal. So that is a good, a good use for it. And moving on into watercoloring, this is my Arteza um, 36 watercolor um, set that I have here. Let me try and open it. A little difficult. Okay, the palette won't remove itself, but yeah. So it comes in 36 colors, and it also comes with this little brush pen um, that you can fill in, or the paintbrush. I don't use it. I just use my own paintbrushes. But yeah, so these are all the colors. Kind of use them, but you know. And it'll get more use throughout the year. Moving on to more watercolors. These two sets are my Carrillo watercolor metallic paints. And I have, at first I got the gold set. And then I decided to get a bunch of different colors. And I thought it was the same size as the gold set. But it turned out smaller, but that's okay. As you can see, I haven't really used the um, small ones. But the gold ones, I use all the time and I haven't used it in this bullet journal. This is just a plastic paint palette that I bought. I had a really tiny one, and since I'm getting into different mediums, I decided to get a much bigger one, and I do wanna get a ceramic palette soon. This is new to my collection as well. This is the Windsor & Newton Masking Fluid. Um, I haven't used it yet, but it would be very helpful when I'm painting. So I'm excited to use this one. And this is my Artesia gouache paint. 
it's a 60 set. Um, that's why I got the new palette and I have yet to really start using it. I'll probably use it in my February bullet journal. We'll see. Um, but I'm excited to get to using these. Last but not least, these are my brush pens or my, 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 my watercolor brushes. Wow. My watercolor brushes. It's Nico Pro and Artist Loft. I've linked Nico Pro below, but um, Artist Loft, I got them from Michaels, so you can find them there. And that is pretty much it for my 2020 bullet journal supplies. It's a little bit more than bullet journaling, but um, please let me know what you think in the comments below. And everything is down there, so um, thanks for watching. <laughs>